Howdy everybody, it's Bake, IronThroneCraft.com, got another video after a long time, so sorry for the delay, been really busy, but let's get right into it. This is from the Invasion event, which was uh, during the Battle Grand Prix, which is all the kingdoms being able to invade each other, which is basically the most fun event in the game, because there are the most targets, and the most people willing to take hits, and it's just a lot of fun, and the most people, you know, that are hitting as well. So it was a good fight by everybody, K5 won, K17 was second place, it's a close match the whole time. And uh, ran into some really good traps, as you'll see in this video. Also ran into some really good traps for solos that were not good for rallies. Which, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any rallies recorded. But we had a couple of uh, rallies that hit for over 2 billion. So it went really well on the rallies, on a lot of the rallies. Some of them didn't go as well. And as you'll see here, some of the solos didn't go as well either. Also, one of the things was, uh, once you're out of dragons, it's a lot harder to send a lot of solos. So this one's hitting this guy from uh, K43, Guy Aurora. And uh, what you'll see here is, see, I only killed 8.9 million there. But what I'm going to be doing in this uh, video is I'm going to be going through the battle reports, going over them, seeing why it happened the way it did. So you see, I sent archers there. You see my archer attack. See his cavalry attack right there? It means he's wearing one set of cav gear, probably on his third one. Scroll down, though, and look at his troops. He's not all cav troops. If he'd been all cav troops, he probably would have, uh, on the bottom tier, he probably would have capped me there. But uh, he still did really well. You see the cav attack, scroll down now, and that tells me he's probably going to be Dark Lord, and you see there. So he's Dark Lord with uh, cav gear, a little bit of Majestic thrown in there for the uh, attack debuffs. Uh, took it really well, though, because I was hitting with Archer, Madge, Madge. And uh, as you know, archers don't hit cav very well. So he did really well right there. What I would have wanted to hit him with was probably Madge, Archer, Madge, or I'm sorry, Madge, Infatch, or something like that. And like I said, if he would have been all cav on the bottom tier, he would have taken it a lot better. So you see now, Jacket. Uh, is here from uh, FKU Alliance, and he's on fire with a shield on, which tells me he's online and taking hits. So I'm going to get ready to hit him, ask for a report on how the hit was on whoever hit him this time, just so I can know what I want to send. So let's check it out. See, this is uh, Tess hitting him. Killed 24 million. He's got 1860 inf defense and 1900 inf HP. Scroll all the way down to his other buffs, and he's got uh, 910 defense and 700 HP there. With a little bit of stuff. So you see here he's wearing inf gear. Scroll down. He's also not all infantry on bottom. And notice how he only lost 2.6 million infantry troops. And the other ones were the ones that lost a whole lot. That's because he's wearing a good amount of inf gear. And taking hits without all inf troops. So if he would have been all infantry on bottom tier. He would have done a lot better there. Just like the last guy. If you're going to wear single type gear. You want to make sure that you have only those types of troops on the bottom. So I'm going to hit him too. Once he drops his shield here, because I saw that. I saw that he's inf gear, not all inf on bottom, taking the hits really well. And I killed 15 million. So it wasn't as good as Tess, obviously. But it went all right. And then you see now we're kind of swarming them. And this is what happens. Once there's a once there's a target, they get hit. You'll get, you'll get your hits. you get quite a few of them. So you see I killed 16 million. Somebody else killed 17 million. Somebody else killed 38 million. I'm guessing we all know who did the 38 million there. But let's look at my hit here. Killed 15 million. Scroll down. See, the reason I killed 15 million is because his other stuff is a lot lower now. He's got a lot more infantry, but his other cav and archers and siege, they're all dying off at a much faster rate, obviously. He's also switched his gear up. See how he's not wearing infantry gear anymore? Scroll down here and see that he switched his gear while he was shielded there, which is smart. Now he's wearing mag. That's why he's got 5100 troop attack debuff, higher defense and HP debuff as well. He switched to triple mag in the middle of it, which is better for him because he's got all four troop types. And uh, he took my hit really well. Wearing triple mag is kind of dangerous uh, against this stuff. Because as you'll see from this guy, who's a beast of a solo trap. Moss, he's 25 billion. Let's watch this. And you'll see that I hit him. I only killed, well, somebody only killed 5.8 million. I think I ended up killing like 4.9 million, something like that. 4.2 million. So he takes the hit really well. And let's look at why. I only killed 4.2 million. Scroll down to my stats and his stats, which is the important part. You see, I'm sending archers. He's also got archer gear on. So if you scroll all the way down to the other stats, you see he's got archer gear, and it's only triple archer. You can see the troop attack and the, and the debuff numbers there. They're lower. That tells me he's only wearing triple archer gear. So I'm going to go into Alliance chat, and I'm going to say hit him with Cav next time if we see him again. And you also want to make sure that you get those stats as zeroed as possible, because that's what matters here on these hits. So these, hit, these people are taking these hits really well is because they've got enough stats that their HP and their defense aren't getting zeroed out by our Majestic debuffs. And that's why single type is still working pretty well for trapping a lot of the time. Because as your H your troop count gets higher, 
that defense does a lot more for you. And also, obviously, the HP is going to uh, play a major factor as well. But as the troop count gets a lot higher, the leftover stats on uh, on your gear, if Majestic is not taking it all the way down, is going to just snowball and your hits are going to get better and better and better. So that's why you see these people that have the really high troop counts doing extremely well. Now, I didn't get the hit recorded, but after I knew what his stats were, I thought, I went in and I hit him again. So you see this is the first hit, 4.2 million, and uh, I'm going to go through and show you the stats again just so we can really analyze this. And you see that, once again, he was wearing archer gear here. I hit with archer mag mag was what I sent, and so my debuffs did not get through his archer stats. If you scroll down to my debuffs, you see I was only running around 1,500 defense and HP debuff. He had more than that on just his troop type, not to mention his troop attack, defense, and HP. See, I send archers here, hit his archers. So the next time I hit him, what I'm going to do is I send cav, and I send it with mag, cav, mag. So now let's look at his stats again. I killed 55 million this time, which is obviously a lot better. I killed 10 times more. See, now I've got cav attack, but I sent mag, cav, mag. So look at my debuffs. My debuffs are a lot higher. They're up to 1,900 now. And you see his troop attack defense, and he also switched to triple mag. So my debuffs actually either zeroed him out or came real close to zeroing him out. But you see this, I got through all of his tier 3 archers up into his tier 4 stuff. And that's because he switched to triple mag, which allowed me to get his defense and HP zeroed, which allowed me to get through his T3. And so pretty much if we're getting reports, we're going to be able to figure out the stats eventually. Now this guy's another one. He capped me on my first hit because I sent Cav at him. And you see, we're trying to uh, gang him here and hit twice, and he's not wanting to take two hits at the same time. But the bottom line is, uh, you know, we're always going to try to send as many as we can. And he scouts me again, which tells me he's ready. But you see how it's defaulting to uh, Raiders? I don't want to do that. I know that he's inf type, Bob. I'm not positive, but I know he's inf type because I just hit him a minute ago, and he capped me. And this time I hit him and get 49 million kills. The reason I got 49 million there is because I figure he's inf type. And I sent Cav the first time. Pretty much the only way a 22 bill is going to cap me is if they've got good single-type gear and I lose Paper, Rock, Scissors. And that's what happened on the first one. So I see this one. Hey, hit for 49 million. Scroll down. Look at his imp stats. He's got 1,400 defense, 1,600 HP, 4,600 infantry attack. That tells me he's wearing single-type gear. That tells me if I hit him with Cav, it's going to be suicide. Not a great idea. But uh, this time I sent Triple Match here. As you can see now, I've got 2,100 uh, defense and HP debuff, and I sent archers because I figured there it is. He's got infantry on bottom. They're tier 4, so that was a good point hit. And uh, this is just because that first hit went so poorly <laughs> that I figured out, okay, he's probably infantry. And like I said, unfortunately, I don't have the big rally hits uh, recorded. I'll try to be better about that. Uh, ran into some issues with lag and everything else like that, so it happened. And then this is just going to be uh, the very end of the event. See, there's only 12 minutes left in the event. And what I'm doing here is I am going to group hug AVE's rally pod. And if you didn't know what that means, it means this. See me set out all those camps? I'm not point trading here. I'm running over all of them with all my marches, and that's all I was doing there. So, great event, everybody. It went really well. To recap what we talked about here, whenever you're hitting somebody, you need to go and you need to look at their defense and their HP, and you need to make sure you're getting to zero. If you're not getting it zeroed, your hits are not going to be very good unless they don't have a lot of troops. If you are taking hits, which I bet a lot of you are that are watching this video, then you want to make sure that your defense and your HP don't get zeroed. You can do this in any number of ways. Usually it's the easiest to do it by stacking one troop type. If you do stack one troop type, if you have multiple types on your bottom tier, you're going to get blown up. The guys that I hit that had multiple types on their bottom tier, as you saw, I hit them and other people hit them, and it only killed mainly the off type there. So if you're wearing infantry gear, you need to have only infantry on bottom. If you don't, you're going to get exploded. So stay tuned, like, subscribe. Expect more videos coming soon. I'm actually recording things again, and I will be uh, uploading these videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck in the upcoming events.